Good morning, everybody. My name is BM3 Blake Garcia. We're here in Curtis Bay, Maryland, and behind me is the Coast Guard Cutter James Rankin, the 175-foot buoy tender. What we do is we service aids to navigation up and down the Chesapeake Channel. It allows for the mariners up and down the channel to have safe travels. And we bring the buoys on board, service them, make sure that there's nothing wrong with them, put them back in the water, and then we're good to go. Let's go on board and take a tour of the ship. So right now we're sitting on the buoy deck. This is where we work all the buoys. We can either operate from the port side or the starboard side. What we do is we come up alongside the buoy, bring it on board, inspect the buoy hole itself, inspect the chain, make sure it's not tangled, and inspect, inspect the rock at the bottom to make sure that the buoy won't break loose and be free throughout the Chesapeake Bay. So this right here is our crane operating table. And so for this right here is our boom. What that means is it'll be able to lift the crane up or down or slew it out port to starboard. Right here is the ox ball. The ox ball is rated for 9,000 pounds, usually rated for our smaller class buoys. Here's our main fall. Main fall is rated for 20,000 pounds. It's for the bigger buoys that we work, such as the 7x17, 8x21, 8x26. Here's our in-haul winch. The in-haul winch allows us to heave around the chain and bring the sinker off the bottom so that we can inspect it and make sure the buoy is good to go. So this right here is the bridge of the James Rankin. This is where the deck watch officer will be driving the boat. And we'll also have a qualified quartermaster to watch up here navigating us. This is where we will drive onto buoys. The quartermaster of the watch, otherwise known as the CUMO, will start verifying the aid to make sure it's actually on station using different documents provided by local notice to mariners. The deck watch officer will drive close enough to the buoys so that the riggers on deck can actually start working the buoy. And when we're approaching a buoy, what we have to do is we need to do uh, multiple amounts of things. We'll need to be needing to verify the aid and the deck watch officer will be driving onto the aid, uh, allowing the riggers to start doing the work on the buoy deck. Coming from the Coast Guard Cutter James Rankin, and on behalf of the crew, we wish you an exciting and happy virtual fleet week.